Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Gorilla Frilla. Um, I got an invasion game on... I mean, <laughs> I got a domination game on invasion. I'm using P90 Extended Mags. Uh, oh, no, I'm using FMJ. This is before I started using Extended Mags on it. Um, this was during the time period when I was, like, using all my SMGs and... Uh, I don't know, I was just having fun with like the Vector, Extended Mags, and this, Extended Mags. I might have a couple other gameplays, so you'll probably end up seeing those eventually. There's some Demolitions. Uh, I doubt there's any more Domination, because I haven't been playing that much Domination, or I wasn't playing that much Domination at the time, so. Yeah, just mainly Demolitions, a um, bunch of different stuff. Uh, some of them I don't even, like, most of my games I named them by like the map so this one's called invasion uh, domo for domination and then the gun name so p90 and then the score which is whatever score I got and then like some the more recent ones I've been doing that I don't even put a gun name on because I end up like picking up so many different guns and I switch my class so many times especially in demolition I think it's really important to change your class based on if you're on offense or defense and <clears throat> so yeah this is oh this is actually what we're doing me and Ant we're trying out like really good try hard classes and one of the classes we came across was the P90 and it's good with FMJ and I think it's better with extended mags just cause FMJ doesn't make that much of a difference with this gun um not like the assault rifles or the LMGs at all um okay fail triple spray I don't know it's really hard to get triple spray with three people looking at you. That would've been amazing if I got it. And right now, my family just came home from shopping, which is very inconvenient because now they're gonna start bothering me in my room. So you're probably gonna hear me telling someone to go away. Um, let's see. Ooh, Black Ops. I can tell you talk about Black Ops a little bit. Black Ops just came out, or <sighs> Black Ops is a bunch of info on Black Ops is coming out and go away and not now not now and then so sorry about that guys god i told you i warned you i warned you but anyways um black ops so black ops the whole mul the wager match and all these new interviews and stuff are coming out and it's got me pretty excited for the game i think i actually think black ops is gonna be a really good game um it's gonna be the difference between like COD 4 and Modern Warfare 2 and how COD 4 is more for more for like try hard people and then Modern Warfare 2 what people didn't realize about this game, game is that it's actually really fun to play um I'd say more than I think it's more fun than COD 4 but <laughs> it also depends on how you define your how you, what your definition of fun is because some people think fun is get, being top of the leaderboard every time and getting a high KD ratio and getting kill streaks and stuff and some people find fun just running around the riot shield and just making themselves smile and making other people very angry some people find fun in noob tubing I guess so it all depends on how you, you think fun is but if you like the kind of fun where that Modern Warfare 2 allows you to have, which is like akimbos and what else, Riot Shield, stuff like that. I think Black Ops is going to kind of bring the fun factor in the game, definitely. Um, maybe not as much as this one, but it's definitely going to be there. But I think the special part about it is that it's also going to incorporate like the, the balance that COD 4 had, because it, I don't know, this is kind of just like a speculation I guess I'm not exactly sure at all if it's gonna be as balanced or I have no idea what the balance is really like what I've seen so far it looks like it's gonna be fairly balanced look at that big clip just hold the trigger down oh that's the best double Y tap ever <laughs> um but anyways the balance of it it to me what I've seen so far it looks pretty balanced um I'm really excited for the new guns uh, what guns did I see? The I'm pretty sure the Car 15 is in there. I think they call it the Commando, cause in, that's like the Car 15's little uh, nickname thing, I guess. 
I'm pretty sure. Don't quote me on that. I'll have to check after this. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure. The Car 15's in there, M16, AK. They got the G11, which is some Heckler & Coke gun. H&K. Well, that's the brand. Also make, like, the MP5. The... What else do they make? They make the UMP G36. Well, I can't think of it. USP. Uh, I'm pretty sure USP. I hope I'm right on that one. But yeah, those guns are all H and K, and they have this new G11. It's an assault rifle. What I've seen in the game, it looks like it's going to be three round burst. Um, if you guys didn't know, pretty much all, almost all assault rifles can do three round burst in real life. And um, so it's up to the the people who make these Call of Duty series so which guns they want to make three round burst. It's not like the FAMAS in real life; it can only do three round burst. Um, oh, the phone's calling. Hold on. Sorry. Um, <clears throat> yeah, the... So, like, the FAMAS and the M M16 in real life, it's full auto. In the game, they're probably going to make it three-round burst because all the Call of Duty players are so used to three-round burst. And it'd be really weird if they changed it up right in the middle just to a, to a full auto. But I think it'd be cool. It'd be the same thing as the M4, and I love the M4. So my phone again. Sorry, I... I wouldn't an answer of my phone while I'm doing a commentary. I think that's really annoying when you, you're listening to someone on the phone just talking during the middle of your commentary, but or during well their commentary. But whatever. I doubt you guys notice as much. But as a commentator, you pay attention to other commentaries in different ways. Um, I guess kind of like how if you're an experience at this at Call of Duty, you watch people play Call of Duty in a certain way. And I, yeah, same thing with the whole YouTube and commentaries. Uh, right here, I really like this part. Um, Fail 360, and then I get this guy. I re reload one more shell in, and this guy goes down, so I knife him. And then I get sort of shot by two guys. I pick up the tar and just choose one. And fortunately, the other guy was like the biggest retard in the Call of Duty history. So <clears throat> I ended up getting out of that situation. I'm very surprised I didn't die. It was spectacular my little brother was watching he's like wow so that was cool right here I turn on this guy so bad yeah but anyways like I was saying black ops good I think it's be a really good game um Treyarch has definitely brought it I mean they're talking to the community and interacting with the community so much that it's got to be decent and then all the update stuff they said that they're gonna make updating it extremely easy so if there's problems with the games like the javelin glitch and all those stuff that we had in this game what else do we have care package glitch it's not going to take like weeks to fix hopefully by what they said so far um i believe it when i see it but <clears throat> i have faith that they'll um that they'll come through and be able to put updates out fast and they're probably going to need to put a couple updates out in the beginning just because there's no beta so they're going to need to make some minor tweaks that the community um tells them after playing black ops but here's the end of the game uh 42 and 8 and i don't know some good rushing gameplay i wasn't too objective focused i guess i was just kind of holding them down in their spawn so still objective just not capping the flags but i'll see you guys later peace